Hey everyone, we're coming to you from GitHub Universe 2023, and this is 15 Minutes to Merge. And with me today, I have Damo. Damo, welcome. Thank you, thanks for having me. I'm glad to have you here. So you've been like the roving reporter here at Universe, right? I have been, yeah, I've been going around giving away stuff and like, you know, asking questions of the people and getting feedback from what's been announced. Awesome, there's been some amazing announcements this year. So start off, what's one of the things you heard about? Oh, look, the big thing that I've been using a little bit because it's been staff shipped is Copilot Chat, right? Yes. That's GA December 2023. That's GA for everyone, December 2023. Yeah. Um, and they've expanded slash commands. They have expanded slash commands. So slash commands are the things like slash doc or slash tests uh, that, you know, really speed up those common tasks, right? I, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to name one as well. So inline Copilot. Uh, that was one of the other things as well. Um, can you explain what that is? Inline gives the chat integration within the coding flow in the editor. So you're right there. You don't lose that context. You don't lose that flow as you're writing your code, which is super critical as a developer. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so Copilot as well is available in JetBrains. Stuff, yes. Right? I've had this question so many times. People are using JetBrains to write their code, and they're like, when's the integration there? We've just expanded that suite. It's in preview as of yesterday. So, well... What is that? November 8th, <laughs> I think it is. Um, yeah, as of November 8th, that is in preview now for everyone. Yeah, awesome. And it's not just uh, chat for JetBrains and in your IDE and stuff like that. There is chat in mobile. Yes, that is a game changer for me. So if you're out walking your dog or doing a thing, like you can actually make a coffee and respond to pull requests and do things on your mobile and use GitHub Copilot chat more readily, which is awesome. So you can actually ask it to fix your code and write some unit tests from your phone. I tried this the other day, actually. It got staff shipped, so the GitHub people got it a little bit earlier. I tried it and it was literally, like I, I opened up a file and I said, hey, wh where, where in this file can I find this stuff? And it was so good, it answered it exactly. So if somebody gives me a question, during the code, like during the day while I'm walking around, I don't have my computer. I can do that. Um, I want to. I want to ask you. Uh, I want to talk to you. I guess about um, GitHub and uh, GitHub Copilot Enterprise. Is that right? Yes, we've yes. just launched Copilot Enterprise, which is amazing. Copilot Enterprise is Copilot for business, so you get all the IDE experience, and then Copilot Enterprise takes place in the browser as GitHub as a platform, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So we've given you that platform experience, and this is really cool because you're able to. Um, answer pull requests, expand, explain a pull request and expand on it and not just go, I did a thing. You could be like, hey, Copilot, explain my code. Helps, tells you what some files you submitted. Uh, we've added some other features in that browser experience as well and the searchability. So you can index your repository and your code is treated as data. You index it and get the context straight from that repository. Yeah, and and that's not just the in the browser stuff, that context. the the. Uh, customization and the pre-training, sorry, the, the fine-tuning, I think it is, yes. um, and customization, uh, retrieval, augmented, uh, generative AI stuff as well. Like, so it knows your code base a lot better. Even when you're in the IDE, right? Like, so when you're writing, uh, when you're asking questions of Copilot chat and you are, you know, using OG, Ghost Text Copilot, it knows your code a lot better. Yes. And we've had so many enterprises request this from us. And with the fine tuning, that's capable as well. We got to demo that yesterday, which was awesome. So you can actually take your code, you were using an abstract language or one that's not heavily open sourced, that's available as well under the enterprise and the fine tuning capabilities. Yep, exactly. So, and not just Copilot either, because there is AI in GitHub Advanced Security. Yes, that's also a game changer. So security is hard for developers, mm -hmm. right? But we have to secure everything from day zero. So having AI powered security is super critical for us. Yep. There was one more thing that we saw um, right at the end. This was the one more thing at the end of Thomas's keynote, which is the, I think the, GitHub Partner Program, so the extensibility stuff that's going yes, on there. Yes, and yeah. that's huge. So we've teamed up with about 25 partners to extend that extensibility um, within the Copilot capabilities with AI coding solutions. So we have partners like Datadog, um, I want to say it was HashiCorp, Postman, and uh, Pulumi were the four that I really noted. And I think Honeycomb's on there as well. I could be wrong. I saw them, yep. I saw okay, that perfect. logo. Yeah. So some great partners. And that really helps fulfill that whole DevOps process and lifecycle with AI. That is awesome. Yep. That's right. Um, there was heaps more. There was stuff from uh, today's keynote as well, day two keynote as well. Um, those were like my biggest highlights. So. There's a lot of stuff with actions coming as well. Um, the workspace, the Copilot workspace. Oh, is Copilot's really cool. workspace. That's still like super, super beta. Yeah. Super beta. Very cool. So, um, you know what? We'll put the link for everyone to set up, sign up for the fine tune customization. We'll put some links for everyone in the show notes and they can look at all the cool stuff that's been released at Universe. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks, Damon, so much. And thank you everyone for tuning in for this episode of 15 Minutes to Merge.